Hello friends and welcome to my lair. I'm Professor Bell and today we'll be checking out the Knox class frigate. So my Knox class frigate was manufactured by AFV Club, and I have to say this is a great kit of a pretty prolific class of ship. The kit comes with options for several Knox class frigates in the US Navy and several Balares class frigates in the Spanish Navy. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. You'll notice, however, that there is no option for the USS Lang in this kit. In fact, I had to cannibalize some decals and order a generic sheet of US Navy numbers and letters to get that. This was a gift for my father, who actually served on the USS Lang, so I wanted to get things right. As it turns out, he let me know immediately the things that were wrong with it, like there wasn't all that junk on the top of the aft platform, and even though they practice helicopter operations from time to time, they didn't actually have one in the hangar, it was just kind of used for storage. But how was I to know? By the way, if you served on a Knox class frigate, I'd love to hear any stories you have about them, and please leave me a comment if there's anything on this model that sparks a memory. Also, to everyone else, if you know anyone who was in the U.S. Navy during the 70s and 80s who did or may have been on one of these beauties, would you mind sharing this video with them? It's a personal interest of mine because of my father's service, and I'd be really interested to hear from other sailors who experienced these ships. Now back to the model in question. I also added a photo etch kit built specifically for this model, and I also rigged it with Infini Models rigging material. I only did light weathering in a few places because we all know Boats runs a clean ship. The kit goes together pretty well, the instructions are pretty clear, and there are tons of reference photos available on the internet to help you out with accuracy. Since it was for my father, I even went so far as to purchase a whole reference book from AK Interactive about the ship and the model. I didn't notice any huge issues with the molding of the kit. Pretty much everything was nice and clean, no flash, and only a couple of oddly placed pinholes, like somewhere right on the side of highly visible vent ducts, so that was annoying, but overall, this was a pretty fun kit to build. Now you may be thinking, that's all fine and well, but why would I want to build a Knox class frigate? Sure, there were lots of them, and they may have been sold to foreign navies where some are still in service today, but as far as quality, it wasn't a great ship, was it? I mean, it was intended for anti-sub warfare, but it was slow and lacked the capabilities to form an important part of carrier groups. Well, you cantankerous figment of my imagination, you're forgetting one very important thing about the Knox-class frigates. They look badass! Just look at that 5-inch 54 and Azrock system crowding the foredeck. Look at that big black funnel mast thing towering over the aggressive angles of the hull. Just look at that helipad primed to fling sea sprites off to crush enemy subs. Just look at that sea whiz standing erect as it guards the fantail. Who cares if it wasn't the best design or if they weren't involved in any major sea battles or meaningful operations that I could find? And so what if they earned the nickname McNamara's Folly? They look freaking cool! So, should you build one of these little beauties? Well, I think so. I mean, it was a fun little build, and in the end, isn't that why we do this hobby? Please don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff, unless you didn't like this video. If you didn't like this video, be sure you leave me a dislike, and also let me know why um, and what I can do to uh, do better. To the person who let me know that my camera sucks, I, I know, I'm working on it. Bear with me. And with all of that said, I wish you joy in your lives, and I hope to see you again soon.